My name is Rashid Badigeshi. I'm Simi's dad and a pediatrician at Duke University Medical Center. I was born and bred in Nigeria. I grew up in a small town called Oyo in southwestern Nigeria. Um, life growing up was actually very simple. We didn't have a lot of uh, luxury things, but we were satisfied with the simple things that we have. Growing up in Nigeria, we do not take those things for granted. You are not guaranteed that you are going to have electricity around the clock. You are not guaranteed that you are going to have water around the clock. So I did my postgraduate training. I actually trained as a pediatrician in Nigeria. And it was when I was training as a pediatrician in Nigeria that I actually met my lovely wife. We got married, had a child. And then I think it was about two, three years after that that I had to go for, for that training in the United Kingdom. I lived in uh, Manchester, Northwestern, United Kingdom. I actually returned to Nigeria briefly to continue with my professional life. Unfortunately, that was the lowest point in uh, the history of Nigeria. We had a military dictator at that time, and I can remember the year that I returned to Nigeria after leaving the UK, the hospitals were shut. When I say shut, the hospitals were, did, were not functioning for about nine months. My overall assessment of the situation was that the country is regressing and I couldn't just see any light at the end of the tunnel and it was at that point that I that I decided that even if it's going to be starting all over again I've got to leave so that was how I came to the United States I had to do my training all over again in New York and uh, later University of Michigan in Ann Arbor generally speaking I feel welcome to the United States of America my expectation was very high and when I got to New York, I was a little bit disappointed about how uh, bad things are depending on uh, the area that you are living in. In fact, what I will never forget is my first son um, grew up, spent m most of his early life in Manchester. And when we were returning to Nigeria, he already knew the difference between living in, Western co in a Western country and in a developing country like Nigeria. So when we were leaving Nigeria for the U.S., coming to the New York, what I promised him is that New York is actually like Manchester and that's going to have fun. And then when we got to New York, uh, what my son said was, Oh, Dad, New York is not like Manchester. New York is like Lagos, Nigeria. I must say that I started enjoying New York the day that I knew that I will be living.